Okay guys, now paper cartridges. The components you're going to need to do paper cartridges are a flask of powder, a measurer, you're going to need lubricated balls or ready to go balls. You're going to need a little loading block. Now all this is a scrap piece of wood that I've drilled a little divot that a ball will sit in just like that and then a little deeper divot that it'll sit a little more securely in. That's it. Next you need a big thing of the biggest rolling papers you can find. These are extra long Bob Marley brand. And you're going to need a mandrel. Now what this is, this is the body of a tire pressure gauge like you get in automotives. You know it's got the little thing up here and you push it and the little thing comes out down here at the bottom. I took the guts out of it so it's just the tube and I put a wooden dowel through it and tapped it all the way through. Pointed on one end and kind of flat, slightly concaved on the other. This is going to be your, your making stick and I've marked a line at the halfway point, a certain measurement. That certain measurement is half of the piece of rolling paper down the middle. Alright. Also use a razor blade. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take one of the rolling papers, I'm going to very carefully roll it tightly around the mandrel until I get to the gummed edge. Then I'm going to wet it. all the way up the length and roll it back and stick it. Making sure it is stuck. That side didn't stick too good. Alright. There. Now that it is, I'm going to grab and make sure that it's free on the mandrel. I'm going to move it up here to where it's flush with the end, sit it down on a smooth rolling surface and take that razor blade, put it on that mark I have on the middle of the mandrel and roll the mandrel and the razor blade together. Just like that. And what that does is it cuts it cleanly so I got two halves. Okay, now taking a ball, putting it in that little divot of my rolling block loading block. I lift the lid up, I slide this top tube up till it's about a quarter of an inch up. Now I'm going to maybe even just a grunt more. I'm now going to push that over on all sides just like that. I want it just long enough that it overlaps. And I'll wet my finger just a little bit. See how it closed off the end? Now I'm going to take, whoop, didn't come off. Now I'm going to take a drop of super glue and put on the head of the ball right here. Now usually I use the type that's got the little um, roller on it. I hope this works. Yes, there we go. Put a drop of super glue right there on the end of the ball. Put the lid back on. Now taking that paper, pushing it firmly down onto that drop of super glue, and I kind of slide it down just a little bit so that the glue smears over the top and it, like you're sliding a sock on, it kind of, not just flat, but it kind of cups around the ball. And I'm gonna let it sit there a few seconds and then I'm going to gently pick up. If it picks up and the ball goes with it, I've done right. I'm going to sit it over here in my loading block, grabbing the paper and gently twist the mandrel and pull the mandrel out. Just like that. Now I've got a paper tube sitting there. Now I take my soy wax and I get three or four pieces of it, you know, 
These are tiny little pearls about that much. And I'm going to put them in the tube. That's what the point on the other end is for. If it starts to close up, I stick the point there and open it up. Now I take my pre-made powder charge I'm going to make up. Just like that. I pour it in the tube. Making sure I got all of it. Now, I'm going to take small little stick here I'm using as a mandrel put inside there and I'm kind of tap it down just a little so it's firm now I'm gonna pick it up by the paper grabbing the powder charge oh so gently and I'm gonna twist that rolling paper up tight just like that once I get it down there really tight I'm gonna wet my fingers apply that little bit of moisture Squeeze it down really, really tight, just like that, until I got that little tab on the end. See? Now I'm going to sit it right there. I'm going to take my scissors and my Swiss Army knife, and I'm going to cut that little pigtail off short. Press it down firm and flat. Now I have a loaded cartridge. Now for a demonstration of that loaded cartridge that I just created, I'm going to take my revolver, put it on half cock, and I'm going to take and slide that paper cartridge. Notice the mandrel makes it where it slides right in. Just like that. No effort. Shunk. Now it's just a ball sitting there. Rotate it under and send it home. Just like that. And just like I said before, I have marks on my rammer that allow me to know when it's just flush. And that makes a very consistent press. Now, I have a loaded cartridge in the gun. It's that simple. Stay with me. Be right back. And that, guys, is the basis of how to load paper cartridges. Now, big rolling papers, a little block, a mandrel, something to use as a little tamper to make sure it's down flush, a flask of powder, a powder measure, and a little bit of lubricant. That's my little twist on it. And, of course, some super glue. That's all there is to it. You saw how long it took me to make a cartridge. 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. If you want to go the paper cartridge route, you can do it. You saw what I had. But understand they're not going to be as robust as, say, the yellow cartridges because that paper is susceptible to moisture and it is susceptible to rough handling. It'll tear apart. It's just paper. Um, I recommend if you want to carry this in the field, get the Dixie tubes. They're very economical. Use these. If you decide down the line that you want to try the paper, get the stuff. Make it up. It's, they're fun to use. And they can be very viable. That's the way it was in the Civil War. You were issued a little wooden bo box that you pulled a little wire and opened it up and inside were six cartridges and a little pocket with some caps in it. And that's how they'd reload in a hurry in the war. They make the gun more practical in the field. Besides, that's where our cartridge guns came from. I hope this helps, guys. Please uh, put in any comments. Please subscribe. Anything I can uh, do to help explain better, please ask. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.